this wound up being the fruitful bed for LLMs eventually arriving, is that we had thousands of these recipes emitting data in various different forms. And if you could just expose as tools, all of those thousands of recipes to a model and say, okay, I have a question for you about this business unit. The model could select the right recipe, deterministically run it on potentially hundreds of millions of lines of code, get the data table back, reason about it, combine it with something else. And that's the sort of, I think, foundation for large language models to help with large scale transformation and impact analysis. And these are all the sort of basic primitives. And then, you know, at some point we said, well, recipes could also emit structured data in the form of tables, just rows and columns of data. And we would allow folks to run those over thousands or tens of thousands of these lossless semantic tree artifacts and extract data out. This wound up being the fruitful bed for LLMs eventually arriving, is that we had thousands of these recipes emitting data in various different forms. And if you could just expose as tools all of those thousands of recipes to a model and say, okay, I have a question for you about this business unit, the model could select the right recipe, deterministically run it on potentially hundreds of millions of lines of code, get the data table back, reason about it, combine it with something else. And that's the sort of, I think, foundation for large language models to help with large scale transformation and impact analysis.